difference between what is natural for the human body and what has become normal for us in society. What's become our famine is our mind. When we start to think, and we start to worry, we start to get concerned and we run things over and over and over in our mind. And when that happens, we start to produce another hormone called cortisol. But we've been around for about two, two and a half million years. <laughs> I'm sure we've all seen something similar to this. But inside that part of the brain, just above the brain stem, there's a part of our brain called the limbic system. And this part of our brain is totally and utterly associated with saving our life and, and, and deciding whether things are safe or unsafe for us. And the amygdala is like an emotional sensor. So what it does is it pattern matches what's happening now in this moment to what has happened previously that is stored in my subconscious. And deep down in my subconscious here, I have a whole lot of stored habitual responses to situations. And the most important thing to understand, I guess, is that the eyes don't see. The eyes are the lens, but it's the brain that sees. It is absolute Velcro to bad experiences, and yet it is Teflon to good experiences. Whatever is happening around us emotionally, we're going to grab on to what's more dangerous, what's more upsetting, what is really unsafe and uncertain, and we're going to react to that. Does that make sense? When we're working from that part of our brain, because this part of our brain is literally trying to keep us safe. So this is a very reactive part of our brain. It has no social consequence whatsoever. And you can feel the heat start to rise through your body. You can feel the heart rate go up a little bit. And somewhere something says, don't go there. <laughs> but then you react. And you're into it. And let me tell you this. And let me tell you that. And this is another thing. And that's another thing. And you don't have it right. And down and blah, and off you go. And you go into full defense. You go into full attack. This is I am right. I am right. I am right. I am right. And you walk away and you feel amazing. Yeah. That's the limbic system. No social consequence. None whatsoever. It doesn't understand the consequence of the heat of the moment. This is what happens when people get violent, when they absolutely snap. At its worst, this is where murder happens. We have a saying in our office, only one person can go limbic at any one time. The limbic system can say to the adrenal glands, I don't care what you're doing right now. I have an emergency situation where we are in danger and saving our life is our number one priority. So we need to produce adrenaline and cortisol now. And what we're beginning to understand is how we think and feel on any given day has as much impact on our cells as what we eat, and how we move and bring yourself into this moment and be the master of your attention right now. I'm going to take you on a very quick 30 second visualization. Yeah. The power of your mind created a physiological response. The brain is like a muscle. So whatever our mind perceives, our body believes.